Let's take a look at how to show Gmail filters in this Gmail tutorial. So there's two spots I'm going to show you. Number one, any existing filters you have. And number two, where you can actually create filters. So in the search bar here at the top, there's a little search option icon here on the right hand side. And we can click on that. And so not only is this a search box, but also anything you input here, you can create a filter around. So you can create a filter from an address to an address, a uh, certain subject. It contains certain words, so like the emails contain certain words, or they don't have certain things. And you can actually use all kinds of different modifiers in here. And so depending on where you put that kind of stuff in here, that's how you can sort of filter down. You also have size, uh, dates, and then where you're going to search. And okay, so let's say, uh, let's say here we're going to say has the words and so essentially that means includes and i'm going to say is uh, unread so i'm going to look for every email that's unread that should be the spot to put it then we go to create filter down here and so when we are confirming uh, that we need to create this filter it might warn you that certain labels or certain things uh, might not match incoming email and that's fine as long as you know what you're doing you can just hit okay and then you have a few more options for your search criteria uh, as far as what it does with it. So a filter will basically say, okay, all these email, what do you want me to do with it? Do you want me to mark all the unread as read? Or do you want me to star any unread email um, or star any email from a certain address, etc.? So you can set up any of these options here and then create the filter. Now to show where all these filters are, I'm going to go ahead and create this one in case I don't have any on here. Oh yeah, I have to pick an action. Uh, okay, so any anything that is unread, I'm going to maybe apply a label, and I'm going to create a new label, and this label is going to be called unread. I'll create that. If a certain name is reserved, uh, maybe I'll just say unread emails. Let's see if we can actually do that. We can, so if I just use multiple words, that's fine. And so then I'll create a filter. And so we've created a filter to show any of these filters or see what all the filters are. You would actually have to go to settings and then see all settings. And inside of here, you're gonna see filters and blocked addresses. We click on that and we're gonna see all of the different filters in here that we currently have set up on our Gmail account. So I have one here that says, hey, anything coming to this email, a uh, little plus addressing, I want you to apply this label business. Or anything coming from this email, I want you to delete it. Anything that matches unread, please apply the label unread emails. This one might not make sense, but that's how you can kind of make those filters and show the different things you can filter on and create rules. And then this is where you can see all the different filters that you have. You can edit them, you can delete them, you can select multiple, um, you can even export filters. But that is how you can show filters or show Gmail filters here on Gmail.